The Federal Ministry of Interior has clarified that all marriages conducted by the Ikoi Marriage Registry are valid. In a statement on Tuesday, the ministry faulted reports that marriage certificates issued at the Ikoi Registry are invalid. The ministry's permanent secretary and principal registrar on marriages, Dr. Shoaib Balgari, said in a statement that there are existing court judgments empowering the federal government to conduct marriages by virtue of legal notices issued pursuant to the Marriage Act. He said it is further worthy of note that the issue of formation, annulment and other matrimonial causes are by virtue of item 61 of the first shadow of the 1999 constitution. Well, joining us live to discuss this is Ola Adyoshun, legal practitioner, human rights activist. Hello, Mr. Adyoshun. Yes, good evening. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Well, <laughs> this issue is up again. Well, the Federal High Court in Lagos had just passed that judgment, nullifying all marriages conducted and certificates issued by federal registries, including the almighty Ikoyu registry. Now, how is this? What, what, what should be? What is it really right now? Well, um, unfortunately, I'm yet to see the, the judgment on that reference. Uh, as I won't be speaking to that judgment. Rather, I'll be speaking to the issues generally as it has to do uh, with the tie of government with the constitutional power to regulate marriages and powers of the local government on issues of marriages. Uh, I've seen lots, lots of instances where you people in the media, both social and conventional media, wrongly interpret a uh, pronouncement. Hence, I'm always very careful not to form opinion on legal issues based on news reports. Uh, I know as a matter of fact that uh, by virtue of uh, the first schedule to the 999 constitution as amendments, uh, marriages and matrimonial causes has been in place in the exclusive legislative list, save for customary and Islamic marriages. The implication is that only the National Assembly can make laws relating to marriages and matrimonial causes, um, which includes conduct of marriages, dissolution of marriage, and so on. Once the marriage is not customary or Islamic marriage. Uh, it's also true that the first schedule to the con same constitution places re uh, registration of marriages at disposal of local governments. Uh, the question to ask at these stages, can the question, I mean, can the registration of marriage be the same as regulation and certification of marriages? Can In it? my view, I, hello? Can it? No, I don't think so. Uh, regulation and certification of marriage is different from registration of marriage. The same force schedule to the constitution gives the power uh, of registration of births and deaths to the local government. Now, the local government will only register births after the parents of that child has christened their, the child, given the child name and done everything. All the local government does is to register it, not to, not to perform the function of christening that child. Now, what that means is that uh, it is only the National Assembly that can make laws, that can do things pertaining to uh, uh, marriages, both the regulation, the performance of the marriage, and everything relating to marriage. The only job the local government has is to register it. And what does that mean? It is only the federal government, I mean, the federal government registry under our laws that has the power to make, I mean, to, to, to uh, conduct marriages, as, uh, so to say, as it's been done. It is not the local government, it's not the function. Of course, it is an abnormality in a federal, in a supposed federal state that Nigeria pretends to be. You know, this is some of the contradictions that we have in our constitution. In a federal state, it's not the business of the federal government to regulate marriages or federal sorts. But unfortunately, that is our law. I listened to the Leonard Silk and uh, Anaba. Uh, his position, with due respect, I disagree with it. The only job the Commission gives to the local government as far as marriage is concerned is registration. Now, you won't say because the local government, the, the Commission says the local government should register beds. So the local government must go ahead to christen the child. In fact, the only type of marriages that the Commission gives the local government power over, I mean, that takes away from exclusive legislative list, mm. 
uh, is, the, is, the, is the tradition, is the cultural, I mean, traditional marriages and Islamic marriages. Even that traditional marriage and Islamic marriage, is it the local government that conducts it? The answer is no. It's not the local government that conducts Islamic marriages. It's not the local government that conducts traditional marriages. The only thing they do is when it comes to the of dissolution of marriage, they now go to customary courts. Okay, because time, because of time, you know, you've said yeah. a lot of things right now, and we need to make this very clear to all listening. Um, first of all, the fact that the uh, ministries, uh, that's the Ministry of Interior, that the Permanent Secretary has come out to make categorically clear that those marriages conducted in uh, Ikoima uh, registry, for instance, remains valid, means that something was said that was worthy of response. So that takes it away from the realm of speculation. So that yeah, brings no, me to no, the no, next, no, hold, no, because of time, hold on, because of time, no, no, let no, me no, just no, ask no, you no, the no, next. Mm -hmm. If you read that statement, I've seen the statement of the Ministry of Interior. That statement, with due respect, is uh, fundamentally flawed and contradictory. In one breath, they said it is uh, it is fake. In another breath, they said uh, it is uh, it's against previous judgments of the courts. So whoever drafted that statement, I mean, it shows the kind of people leading us at the civil service level. It's unfortunate. That statement is not supposed to come out from that high office. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying, I've not said the judgment was passive. What I'm saying is that I don't know the content, so I cannot really speak to Okay, so judgment. let's take it as it is right now. Let's take it as, as it is right now. Let's take it as it is right now. And try to answer the question which borders on the faith of those with marriage certificates from the federal registries. Um, so what becomes their fate? Okay, let us now assume that there's actually a judgment of court that says all marriages conducted at that federal registry, mm -hmm. I mean, that federal registry does not have the right. The implication is that every marriage conducted at that, at that registry is null and void. That's the implication in law. Wow. Except there's an appeal against that judgment that sets aside that judgment or nullifies it. Any marriage conducted is null. However, there's a caveat. In most, you know this is Nigeria, where in most cases, many people conduct three types of legit legal marriages. Some people conduct two types of legal marriages as far as our law is concerned we have three known legal marriages we have the customary uh, customary marriage it is a legal marriage we have the islamic marriage is a legal marriage then we have the statutory marriage which is conducted in the in the uh, in the various registries which people call court marriages whenever mm -hmm. i hear that i just laugh because no court conducts marriage you can never go and conduct any marriage in the court but people refer to it as court marriages mm -hmm. anyway so these are the three types of legal marriages that we have in the country. So some people, con the, some people after uh, contracting Islamic marriage, they go ahead to contract uh, traditional marriage, then they still go to the registry to conduct, contract uh, uh, statutory marriage. Now, anybody who conducts their marriage, who conducted their marriages at that particular registry, mm. and it's true that the court has nullified that married that uh, the power of that registry to conduct marriage mm -hmm. all of the marriages conducted at that registry stands null and void however <laughs> where we have people who has conducted traditional marriage alongside that marriage mm -hmm. that their, that their traditional marriage stands yes their traditional yeah. marriage stand um, because of time again oftentimes when people go to these courts to do this in spite of having done the customary is because they need the certificate for maybe international travels, uh, business documents, and all of that. So, what is the option for people now? No, the, well, the truth is that uh, whatever you need it for, there's not there's no business transaction in Nigeria that requires uh, your your marriage certificate. Some people just some people does it for the sake of uh, whether they want maybe they want to relocate abroad and the rest of it. Now, I believe uh, bodies abroad too will take will take precedent will take uh, note of the fact that. These registries were recognized registries as at the time the marriages took place. Mm -hmm. so okay. the, I believe the international, the, the whatever country they are, wouldn't make any issues out of it seriously. It is only marriages conducted after the judgment, if eventually the Ministry of Interior does not appeal that judgment. Okay. It's only marriages conducted after the judgment that may have issues with foreign countries where they may want to make use of them. All right, Mr. And I agree with me that most of these foreign countries prefer marriage certificates from the COE registry. Exactly. That's why it is the big deal. It is because the big deal. That, because they know that 
it is only the federal registries all that right we, we, we just have to wrap it up right now i'm so sorry time is not on our side we have to take other stories ola addition legal practitioner and human rights activist thank you so much for your time and insight on this topic hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates